So, abandoned world. What's the history on this place? Like, how long has it been like abandoned for? Uh, I think it was in the 90s, 80s. I'm sure it was built during the World War II. Okay. Uh, and it was redone for the Cold War. Alright. And after that, it was something to do with some gas that was leaking in there or something, something from the mountain. And then they shut it down. What year was it shut down? Uh, it was 90s or 80s, somewhere around then. Bro, I'm surprised. There's like no dust, though. It's not really accessible, is it? It's no, and I guess there's still ventilation as well. It's so damp, though. Yeah, it is damp. other top secret government officials. So it's gonna be very unique, it's very posh, it's huge, it's luxurious, there's so many bathrooms. It's as if it was like a five-star hotel. So yeah, let's get on with the adventure. This is gonna be a great one. What is going on today, Ronins? Welcome to the channel. My name is Steve Ronan. If you don't know, we put out the most dopest urban content on YouTube. And I'm quite excited about today. This place is probably one of the most craziest explorations that I've ever done. And it was used by the Prime Minister back in the day as his nuclear fallout shelter. And what you're gonna see inside is like no other bunker that you've ever seen on YouTube, hands down. Before we begin the video, I also wanna give you guys something, something really amazing. Now this is between Cordy and I and a company called Ralu. Ralu, I might be pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry bro. But anyway, we decided to do the iPhone X giveaways for you guys, for the appreciation, for being just supportive of the channel. We're almost reaching half a million subscribers. 500,000 of you guys are almost subscribed. Now if you wanna win the iPhone X, and if you wanna enter the giveaway, you have to specifically follow these rules. You have to click the link down below in the description box, use that link, um, Enter a username and your email because we need that to notify the winner. And once you do that, there will be the options that you have to take. You have to follow me on Instagram, follow Courtney on Instagram, follow the Ralu Company's Instagram and Twitter account. There's a last option and you don't need to take it, but um, if you purchase an iPhone X screen protector from the Ralu Company, that will give you 20 extra points, which is like 20 entries. And the more entries there are from you, the higher chance you're gonna win an iPhone X. And I mean, in case you win the iPhone X, you're gonna need a screen protector anyway, or if you know someone that has an iPhone X and needs a screen protector, you can just purchase it for them or for yourself in general. And every purchase, every profit will go towards more giveaways in the future. And I'm hoping to do more giveaways just like this. iPhone X is a new laptop, a new camera, or even like a PlayStation, if you guys are into video games too. I know a lot of people use the iPhone X and that's why I'm doing this giveaway for you guys for my first one because I want to make it the best possible. And I must clarify this, there's only gonna be one winner. It's international shipping and you have to absolutely use the link because of the new system. We're able to just see who entered and we're able to pick a winner um, randomly with the website. So use it. Also, thank you guys for supporting the new merch. If you have not seen the previous videos, um, especially the last two, I made a video specifically on the new merch. Go check it out. You can go purchase this too just by clicking the button down below this video that says shop. But anyway, yeah, enter the iPhone X, check out the new merch, and let's continue on with the video. Peace, thank you, hit the subscribe, bam! Start off my morning with something very interesting. What did we just find, guys? Holy Jesus. Those are huge bones. <laughs> Could be human bones. Leave a comment down below if you guys know what kind of bones those are. Skull, I think it's teeth. It's teeth. It's colorful. I'm with Abandoned Explorer. <laughs> Everyone gets it wrong. I'm, I'm with Abandoned it. World. <laughs> ICAST Explorations right here. Bambusa. And we got Bambooza. Yeah, we're gonna do it up today. Links are in the description down below. All the social media links will be down there. Easy access. You can tell this place is just so old. Oh, and 
pockets open. Props to abandoned world for this man. And it's all <sighs> incredible. Go follow his channel, go subscribe, go check his Instagram. Links will be down in the description. It's also been a pleasure collaborating with IKS. This is how we do it up. IKS is like the king of abandoned bunkers, and we're here. We're one of the best bunkers in the world. Apparently, there's rumors that this bunker was specially used by the Prime Minister and other top secret government officials. So. It's gonna be very unique, it's very posh, it's huge, it's luxurious, there's so many bathrooms. It's as if it was like a five-star hotel. So yeah, let's get on with the adventure. This is gonna be a great one. Now when I said Prime Minister, I meant like the previous Prime Minister before, around the 1940s, around World War II. This is the decontamination room. Yeah, so this is, um, so they come through the main entrance. Right. And then the clothes have got radiation on, say, uh, uh -huh. fall out, so it's all contaminated. Yeah. So this is really heavy. They put their clothes yeah, in there. Clothes go in there. Okay. It's really thick, so radiation will give you able to penetrate that. I see. So shut that down. <laughs> right. <and laughs> Looks like you're stuck to that forever now. <laughs> yeah. And then shower their okay. body, scrub their body completely down with soap and stuff, and then uh, go into the bunker. So it's decontamination. That's so cool. That's real life 100 right there. Definitely. Yeah. Or Fallout. So I have them on the keys. I wonder what this would do. Oh wow, it's like a, a key storage. Crazy. What is this? Okay. You got some paper here too. Some blueprints or directions. Electricity safety regulations. Must have been one dangerous room. But everything is still here. Bro, that's nuts. Nothing has been scrapped out. All the wirings are still intact. That just shows like how no one knows about this place. Probably turn this on to be honest. That's mad, bro. What's this contraption? This is an old school tripod. Must have been heavy. Oh, it's a light. Kit light. Could use that for my studio. Now this thing, I have no idea what this could have been. You need a permit. So it must have been very important. Oh, it says it right there. Tea boilers and domestic hot water system only. Sure where to go. I don't want to get lost in here. It's got HMP. Her Majesty's Prison. 1960. And the, uh, the the war department sign, isn't it? Yeah, so prison is so, possibly made that. Yeah. Like, you know, sew, sewing mail bags and stuff like that. That's what you should do back in the days. I don't know if they still do that sort of stuff. But yeah, making brushes and stuff to, for government departments like nuclear bunkers, I guess. Yeah. So that's the men's room. So. Now take a look at the bathrooms. It's pretty creepy. You still have the toilet paper intact. In the bathroom. This is the male's bathroom. The women's one never had the sinks. It was all destroyed, but this one Looks intact. Wow, there's the bar of soap still here as well. What? There's running water. Oh, nothing's coming out. 
That one doesn't work. This could be dangerous. Wires everywhere and just water. I don't want to be electrocuted. I'll try going a different way. BBC room? What do you mean? I think it's has in one of the doors. You said there should be a light. Okay, I'm gonna follow you, man. Yeah. He's actually been here before. He knows like the good spots. So rather stick together. Mm -hmm. Like I've been in there. This is a sample room. Yeah, so you go in here, stop second. You see over there. There's a light above the door. I think it might be in there. One of them. What? The BBC studio. It'll be this, because it's soundproofed. So Let's we are currently room. in the broadcasting room for the BBC. They would use it to broadcast. Can you hear my voice? It's soundproof. And over here, that would pretty much be a red light that would tell you when you're recording. That's pretty crazy to think about. It is very crazy. They probably played a record as well. <laughs> Just uh, like for a few minutes before the bombs dropped. <laughs> I'm so baffled by this. I can't believe like stuff like this exists, you know? You would never think about like the end of the world and an apocalypse happening and just making a bunker that's safe. Apparently this is the, that was the BBC room we were just exploring at. And they would, in case if the world was about to end, it would be there broadcasting. That would, that would be like a telecommunications room. Oh, that, that cable. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Co coaxial, yeah. What's the big one? We just found remnants of it. This is where they would have communicated with one. Okay, gotcha. This on the wall. Oh, yeah. Huge. Wait, is this the Morse code thing? No, I think that's just like the big terminal box for the all the data stuff for the rest of the world. Oh, really? For data? Yeah, that's all communications. There's been a lot of keys inside this bunker. What's this room? More, more communications equipment. Mm, okay. It seems like this bunker is mainly used for communication. Probably just government, government officials and people in control. I see. Of the situation. I mean, it does look pretty fancy. I wonder where like normal citizens would go be put. Like I wonder how their bunkers were like. I would hope that would be nice. Big and nice as this. Well how it would be it would have been on a record actually, it would have played a record. Originally back in like fifties and sixties. Really? In here? And they'd break they put on a record player and then broadcast the records in the public. That's insane. Look, no wonder why there's like some kit camera lights. We're heading through the emergency exit. Have you been in there, man? No. Yeah. There was videos about that before, didn't there? Uh, yeah, that might have been before. There's a date? Huh. I mean, photographers could have been down here. Years ago. They could have done photo shoots or done movies down here. The police down here, they know from the point of Yeah. See its condition. Yeah. Just found a baby dead rat. Or a baby mouse. I get that. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, my friend. This room is in mint condition. Yeah. It smells a bit funky. Yeah, a little bit. You said there's asbestos in here. No, see, before it was just not. Oh, okay, that's good. That's mold. Oh, Ajax. Is that bleach? Cleaning product. Soap. Come on. Product tissue in there. I feel like there was more of a private room. I mean, there's a shower, just one shower. It's kind of weird yeah. that there'd just be one. Oh, the library. What's the sabers? Oh, oh, sorry. It's okay, bro. Job label for old Z fit there. Love to shower. It looks like decontamination shower. Decontamination shower. Um, room. Yeah, I think the phone's on the other side. This is going to be loud, isn't it? This. This is summer, yeah? Looks like it. We just found a tunnel. Not sure where it could lead. It's echoing right now. Really, really loud. 
It's absolutely mad. I feel like someone who previously explored this got all the keys from, from the beginning of the video and just opened all the doors. They did a proper exploration. This room is a bit weird. Seems like the ceiling has been stripped. So we just made it into the room that was apparently a kitchen. This is actually making me really hungry at the moment. Haven't ate all day. I'm starving. Can't wait to get out of here, guys. Um, if you're enjoying the video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you know someone that's really into like bunkers and stuff, make sure to share the video to them. This is absolutely nuts. Can't believe what I'm seeing right now. It's a pretty nice kitchen, man. It's dope, huh? Yeah. It's funny how bunkers were made, but no one has really used them. Yeah. I mean, they, they could use this for some, some cool stuff, you know? They yeah. could open this book to the public and make their money. Oh yeah, they, they could. They should totally do that. No, because we want to explore it. <laughs> <laughs> after we're done with it. Yeah, after we're done. If you're watching this, guys, and this video is online already, you know, leave a comment down below if you, they should like renovate the place. Maybe make it to like a tourist museum. This is history right here, folks. Life must have been so strange. Imagine just waking up in the morning, coming here for breakfast. So back in the day, they wouldn't have had bacon and eggs because, or maybe not because you're in a bunker here. It was limited food. They could have to make do with what they got. Could be just toast and beans and you know, crappy food. That would suck, bro. You never know. That would really suck. But this is a nice kitchen, though. Yeah, this is I feel good. like they would have some pretty good food. I mean, this bunker is huge. It's like high class. It's where the government officials would be. Yeah, apparently, rumor has it the prime minister was here, but you yeah. never know. You can, you can never know. But apparently, rumor has it she was, or he, whoever it was back in the day, uh, was at this bunker at some point. Mm. If that was the case, that would be so cool. Okay, so I just walked a little bit down from the kitchen, and I'm finding this door. Danger, no entry. Well, I'm a bit curious, so. Let's see what's going on in here. What is this? Oh, it looks like this room. Oh, wait a minute. Seems like it's another electricity room, because look. So this was a water tank. Water pumps. Makes sense, we're near the bathrooms and the saunas. That's the tank, the hot water tank. It's huge. What is this for a saving? No, this is a hazy room, hot water tank. Been finding a lot of bathrooms in the bunker. I mean, this must have fit over a hundred people. This is the biggest bathroom that I'm seeing now. Oh, this is huge. Oh, we even have the showers. Wow. I wonder if we can turn it on. I heard it. I can hear something, but it's thoughts. Okay, let's check this one. Off. I'm so scared of this. Just splashing water on me. This is really clean, though. This whole place is clean. Tried, folks. They're not working, but they're still cool to see. That says Medicaid hand wrench. Please do not use soap. I've never seen a machine like this before. 
Was this a trash barrel? Medicaid hand wrench, or what, would it wrench your hand? I'm not really sure. Leave a comment down below if you guys know what this this thing is. I see this. Fire blanket. Yeah, 1985. Yo, my boy Barbosa just found a sauna. <laughs> I keep calling you Barbosa, bro. Barbosa. Barbosa. <laughs> I think this might be the sauna bag. It could be maybe something else, but. Oh no, I think you're right. Makes sense. Like those were the yeah, coals would be, right? Yeah, it's neat, don't it? Yeah. Dude, they'd be living the life. I'd be living the life in the apocalypse. I mean, they could talk to the soldiers, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah man, if something goes down, they come down here. Yeah, bro. We got the kitchen, we got the rooms. Yeah, I got this marked on my map. We're good. Zombies What's... ain't coming anywhere near us. Cause nah. It's all around. Nah, we'll message some rich person, tell them about this place. Yeah. Souvenirs from getting in here, all scratched up to bits. <laughs> <laughs> so I found something interesting. Could be a bomb, could be some sort of firework, I'm not really sure. If it's fireworks, someone must have been having much fun inside here. Apparently there's another sauna down here. Like a mini one, a little private one. Could have just been used for one person. Oh, we found a way out too. And immediately as We just found light to the outside world. This is the exit. Right next to a, uh, more controls. There's some controls for the sewage pumps, for the electricity, heater panel, main room building. All the switches are turned on, but the lights aren't on, nothing's working, so I think they don't even work anymore. I wouldn't touch on it now, just in case. Yeah. Look at that door, though. That is the door to the outside world. We have some sensors right here. Actually really cool to see because you can just imagine how much they keep a bunker safe when it was used. It's right next to the exit door. So they'd be probably cameras as well, trying to pinpoint people, intruders. So apparently this leads to the ventilation room. We're about to go check it out. And without this, people would not be able to breathe inside a bunker. It's unique to see. I would think it would be bigger. But, I don't know. Maybe just the way it works just keeps everything clean. It's an intake in here for us, I think. Yeah. So it sucks it in from the outside into here, then through here, it goes through the wall and into the big ventilation. What's this room? No, it's not that towel table. Oh. No, I think it's pressure. Right. Use a similar thing to measure the oh, gas pressure, I'm sure they do. So there, you'll see where it goes. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's the liquid to fill it up. That's good. Oh, yeah, I see this one. Yeah, this is probably the biggest room here in the bunker. Crazy. Oh, this is dormitory. Male dormitory. Really? Apparently so, yeah. So you mean there'd be beds here? Beds and stuff, yeah. Those photos, my mom. This is full of beds. So there's a lot of men down there, the beds women. Yeah. So there's one next door, that's a women's dormitory. So. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty small. Now that I think about it, bathroom's smaller than men's room. What's that? On oh, exit. So if we use that key, we can actually open all the, the I doorways. Don't know all the doors, but Most of them, probably. Yeah. Look at that chop. Let me focus on it. So cool. That is cool. Brass. That actually, the mechanics work inside it, mm. but it doesn't move. Must be all just rusted up. Yeah. That's like an alarm sensor, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah true. Just disconnected the alarm off. <laughs> what if it still works? Or... You should work on that. Yeah, definitely not. It's hard to see right now. But uh, let me lower the aperture. That says the government departure. <laughs> Wait, I can't. Can you lower your light a little bit? No, 
was that? Thanks. A little bit more? One more. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see that sets it. Apparently there used to be a phone right here, and the first time he explored the place, it rang. So as we're walking back to the entrance where we came from, we find this area right here. The stairway is leading down, and I can't believe we would almost forget this part of the room. Because, because inside here is a bunch of old stuff. You can call it relics, documents, and papers of the past. The phone book. And right next to it is another room, a little kitchen area. First aid box would be right there. Oh, this is the power generator. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay, we're about to leave, but check out the door too. This is such a unique door. This was used to even peek outside. So, that bunker we just explored, this whole room, would be powering it. Oh, there's another door right here. Look at the right there, sir. Rolls Rolls. These look like giant filters. Yeah. Here's the opposite side of the room. Yo guys, thank you for making this part to the video. I forgot to do the outro, so I'm gonna do it here. Now if you did enjoy this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 10,000 thumbs up. That would be great. And don't forget to share this to your friends and family. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter. You know, share it everywhere because this place is absolutely unique. And of course, hit the subscribe button and hit that notifications button as well. Now, the next adventure is gonna be even crazier. This is gonna be the last video to the series, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. Um, just a hint, I'll be exploring something out of Superman. Yes, it's related to Superman. It's an abandoned place related to Superman and I cannot wait to show you guys it. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll be dropping it next weekend on Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. No, a quick reminder to the giveaway. Enter it, guys. Link will be down in the description. Follow the instructions and I can't wait to announce the winner at the end of this month. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Peace.